Occasionally, during synchronous class sessions, I will ask you to use VVox to enter data that can't really be done via the Zoom polling. This will be long form responses, stuff like that. None of this information will be for a grade, but I encourage you to use it to participate and, and check your understanding during class. So to, so to use VVox, you just go to uh, vvox.com, easy enough, uh, V-E-V-O-X, and then click join the meeting. You don't need to download anything at all, just works right from the browser, easy peasy. Um, and then at the beginning of the slides for a given day, you will have the VVox meeting ID number, and so you'll enter it. So just for the purposes of this tutorial, I've created a meeting, and this is the meeting ID, 012-803-842. If you try this, it won't work, but like I said, this is just for the tutorial, and you click Join. And it'll take a second, and now you will be in the VVox meeting. And it works best if you do this on a separate device. So for example, watching lecture on your laptop or your tablet and then doing VVox on your phone. VVox works really well on your phone, for example. And so then during class, I might start a poll and you'll see it immediately appear on your device, wherever you're logged into to VVox. And you can either click, if it's multiple choice, you can just uh, click the answer. Uh, I don't know. Test my understanding, whatever. And then I will see your response. And you can change your answer at any time until I close the poll. You, you can change it as many times as you like. Other tasks will ask you to you know, enter some text or stuff like that, but the basic idea is the same. So this is how you use VVox. I won't use it every day, but there are times when I will use it, and I hope you have found this tutorial helpful.